Let's talk about your goals. Last week I asked you guys what some of your goals were. A lot of you said more followers, more likes, and more comments. Now listen, I've been there. In 2018, I actually started with 1,000 Instagram followers and all I wanted to do was just hit 10,000 followers so I could get that swipe up feature. Has anyone else been there? Like not even a year later, I have over 30,000 followers. These aren't fake, these are bot people. I just wanna show you guys how I achieve my goals and how you can too. All you gotta do if you wanna know is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to the Ask Jay Show where I answer any of your deepest questions. Today's a special day because I'm headed to an event. Basically, I'm here in Los Angeles for a meetup. I'm speaking at one of my friend's workshops called Girls Pit Stop, but obviously I'm late to my own event again. We are kind of starting, <laughs> we're basically starting in five minutes. So I'll see you guys there. If you're new to my channel, my name's Jade. I am a 17 year old entrepreneur who helps brands and influencers grow on social media. But I just realized as I was walking, how much my goals have changed over the years. No joke, you guys, it literally went from getting an A in high school to let me get a thousand Instagram followers. The reason why I say this is because sometimes we have milestones of achieving leads, achieving marketing numbers and dollars. So I'm gonna explain all of that at the end of the video. Seriously, do not miss anything. I'm giving away something that shouldn't be free. But it is free for you guys because I love you. So I guess that's the real question we're gonna find out. How do you set the right goal and how do you actually achieve it? At my event, I asked some of you guys what your goals were. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, let's go. I think I found it. Is it this one? Oh, I found it! Okay. Tell me there's a silver lining. Tell me there's a silver lining. This is Stephanie. She's an amazing entrepreneur and an amazing Dharma Nation member. Love you, Stephanie. And she asked me, hey, what do I do when I want to start my beauty brand, but I don't feel like I'm ready? And I'm in a place where I just need to do it. Yeah. And you, for your beauty brand, how far are you into it? Um, no, it's not like there has been no content that has been created. Okay. To give some context, this is Stephanie's product. It's a microfiber blender to remove your makeup. Sounds pretty sick. It's like a beauty blender. But Stephanie feels like she can't post and sell her product because she doesn't have a content creator. Now to me, this is what I said. The you know what I would, you know what I think would might help a lot? I don't think you need to hire anyone for content. Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because like I okay, so basically just a little insight. My app costs a lot of money to build. It still isn't fully built. It, I don't know why it says in the video, but it's like $250,000. Obviously, I'm, I hear that from my developers and I'm like, okay. And I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna wait till next year to put out something. Maybe that's what you're thinking. I decided like, fuck that. I'm gonna do it. I don't give a shit. This is gonna be building the background, but for, simultaneously, I will build something right now I can do myself that is low ticket. It doesn't cost me anything. And I will stop making excuses because it was hurt. Does it wake when you wake up? It hurts you just to think you're putting this on the back burner. You just need to get one sale. Just literally one sale, DM someone, or an influencer, give me, the, I'll buy it, I'll buy the product. It will help you, it will give you so much ease. Um, and I don't think you need someone to edit content right now. I think it's just focus on one sale without a website. Literally use Instagram as your channel. Summarize, I just told Stephanie, I think you're making your goals way too big. It's so intimidating when you can't chunk it down. My biggest thing and hack is when you're setting goals and objectives, make sure you follow OKRs, objective key result. What is that you say? So in a 90 day period, you wanna ask yourself, what do I want to achieve? That's your objective. Your key results are the measurement of the success of your objective. If you wanna launch a beauty brand successfully and that's your objective, maybe your key results are send one product to an influencer, make 10 sales, and begin to start making content on your iPhone. A lot of you guys think that you can't achieve your goal when really you're not giving yourself enough time. So when you say, what can I achieve in 90 days, it gives you enough time to really think about what you wanna do and it's super efficient. So another girl, Autumn, actually asked me a question about what do you do when you feel like your followers and engagement go down? And there's sometimes when you get a spike, but then they unfollow and then they go back down. And then you get more followers and then they all unfollow. I think we've all been there. So here's the catch. I asked Autumn, why was it going down? It, I really don't know what causes some spikes sometimes. Okay. Yeah. This is what I have to say. Take a look at your data. This Instagram bullshit is not some magical wizard, okay? It's pretty practical. You look at your data, did people unfollow because I didn't engage with them, I didn't comment back, I didn't DM them. And maybe you can ask yourself, is it maybe the holiday season where people are taking a break, they're not using their phone as much? That could be a valid reason. So take a look at your Instagram analytics and see, hmm, if there's a dip, maybe I have to send out another post saying thank you so much for engaging with my content. One of the biggest hacks I recommend you to do is if you literally feel like you're not achieving your goals, go back to where you feel like you're the most highest performing or where you got the most likes or you got the most engagement and start engaging with those people to bring them back. Do people love it, the program? They love it, yeah. Do you have a referral program for it? I don't. Okay, what I would do, how much is the product? 
How, your audience is like people who are into health and fitness, right? right. Um, Christmas is coming up. I think one thing to spike sales is always seasons. Like if the reason why scales are dropping is because you're not initiating those time sensitive things. So um, see Christmas coming up, buy one. Uh, if you have my program, you get $30 if you're for a friend and you get, it's $30, like something like that. Do you have like email leads of them? Yes. Yeah. Send a blast, yeah. yeah like some yeah. of their own photos. Go to your old people who comment, comment on their photos, follow them back. It's as simple as just going back to the people who cared about you in the beginning and re-engaging with. So long story short, while you're setting your goals and achieving them, make sure you look at your data and keep your track of your progress. You know, something I wanted to share was this. But I love waking up every day and having something to do. And I realize some people out there sometimes don't have that. Seriously, even when I was in high school, by the way, I dropped out of high school and it was scary. You have to understand, I'm only 17 years old, but every single time when I was in high school or whether I was working right now, I woke up with a to-do list and it made me so happy. And I just can't imagine waking up one day and not having a book of things to do. And I wanna ask you guys, do you have a to-do list? And at the end of the day, do you know your purpose? Because purpose is the one thing that motivates you forever and ever, nothing can take that away from you. It's that sense of feeling that, hey, there's something greater beyond just me. Now that's super deep and super sappy, but literally like, imagine one day you had nothing to do. Would that be fun? I feel like I just eat and watch Netflix. But then I don't even have a Netflix. See, I don't even know what to do. And to close this off, it's just don't be burnt out. When you're setting goals, I think you have to understand, keep it in a 90 day time frame. If you're being too hard on yourself, you could get burnt out. Okay, so this is my book. It's by Moleskin. Please give me a brand deal. Um, <laughs> and this notebook is my to-do list, but it's just more than that. Because you ever wake up, you have a lot of things to do, but you don't know why it matters. It gets really scary because someone actually told me, does anyone like Yes Theory or does anyone know that yes. channel? Yes. Okay, Yes Theory. It's a YouTube channel that does stupid shit like jumping out of airplanes. It's like Jake Paul but for more, more mature people. Um, <laughs> and they were saying that there was a point where they were burnt out. Now, I don't think burnt out is something where you're tired and there's a lot of things to do. Because if you really love something, you can go through that tiredness. I think tired, burnt out is the tiredness plus lack of clarity. And if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, that's burnt out. So that's why to prevent that, because I've been there. Actually, my dad has had burnt out, right, mom? Yes. Like, like it's not, it's like burnt out. It's not like something where you're just like, okay, I'm tired. It's like sometimes physically you can't work for three, how many, how many years did you not work for? Few years. Few years couldn't work and it's scary. My dad was burnt out for a few years after his company had fallen. I'm not saying he's a vegetable, but like let's just say it's really hard to see your family kind of go through burnt out and I really want to prevent this family online um, to not go through that either. So just make sure and remember three things. Set objectives and key results every single 90 day period. Second, Track your progress and make sure when you feel like you're not achieving it, go back to your data and just see why and don't give up. And lastly, minimize burnt out by knowing your purpose. Just believe you guys can work through long hours, nights, you guys don't need to sleep, well, sleep, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you love what you're doing so much, you won't have a problem working hard at it. The problem is if you don't know your why. So beyond objective and key results, know your mission. Know your purpose. The reason why I pick up my notebook is beyond just me. It's beyond just doing things off a to-do list. It's because I wanna make Instagram videos and posts because I wanna inspire others and help people with their own lives. So when you can find that connection, you start to work at lightning speed, your business grows. That's literally how I went from one to 30,000 followers. I cared more about the people than myself. I engage every single time and I set 90 day goals to make sure I'm achieving everything. Whoa, by the way guys, I almost forgot. I actually have a Instagram growth playlist for free again I don't people think I like want their credit card for this like no I only want you to do is be successful so go check it below it's literally a collection of all the fucking videos I've made about Instagram growth there's so many and it's not the bullshit like follow and follow like it's the real psychology of how people grow online so go check it out it'll be linked below you can watch it after this video of course so let's say you're a small business owner, okay? You have a brand online and you sell socks. Your mission is to sell amazing socks that make people move. Your 90 day objective might be to sell a million dollars of socks. Now your key results are maybe to get 100,000 Instagram followers and then to convert that into a 10,000 email leads. I'm actually gonna show you how I generated 10,000 messenger leads using chatbots. And this is a never before four thing I'm doing. I typically, actually, I don't know why this is for free training, but I'm doing this all on Facebook Live. If you wanna join the free live training, all you gotta do is check the link below, and I'm gonna show you how I do this for my clients, 
all the brands that I work with. Anyways, you guys, that was today's video. Now, just keep in mind, today's event was amazing. I was able to meet so many of you guys that are so amazing and just hugging you and talking to you about your social media goals is so motivating. And I just wanna let you know, if it weren't for you, I would literally have no mission. My mission is to help you guys. So like, without you, I would just be in the corner, all sad. So thank you so much for being here. Now, I understand that YouTube and Instagram might be a lonely job. You might not have a lot of people who support you, but there are people on this platform right now that are doing the same thing you're doing. And there's this family we created on the internet called the Dharma Nation that got your back. So if you like this video and you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, okay? And hit that subscribe button. I've had so many people that came up to me and just said thank you so much for this community. It just means so much to me that you're literally like right now at this moment in the comments replying to each other, talking, and making DM group chats. Like it's amazing. So I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. We network in the comments. Literally search just like chatting and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.